So, it is now time for you to go and get back your family lost heritage. I have told you enough. Your late father's ghost is standing by watching for two things. One, he will bless you if you do it and do it well. Secondly, he will punish you if you fail. Like I told you earlier, this is the time. So be prepared. Jesus what is this? Hi, Mom. My separated, very influential politician mother is finally back home from work after the days of at midnight. Grace! Felicia! Yes, ma'am. Don't mind me. What is this? What is she doing in this place in this fellow? What is she allowed to stay here? So if I came with important personality, they will come and meet her like this, and then they see the president or the governor, they will come and see this embarrassment in my house? That is why I'm not talking. Everything around her goes around fear this. Amaka, you know that. I am a daughter of a VIP. <laughs> you want some? <laughs> it's my birthday. You see, remember? 
We are so sorry, ma. It's not everything possible we could take out to our own, but she wouldn't do it. She may be very clear that she'll stay and wait for you whenever you come back. She will stay and wait for me. What for? I was waiting for you, mom. My own mother. The woman who gave birth to me to just come home on my birthday to wish me a happy birthday. I was just praying and popping, mom, and looking at the time and prayed you come home before a new day to just wish me a happy birthday. Look at your time. It's a new day, mom. And you didn't remember my birthday! Mom, I waited! I waited all day. I was waiting and hoping that you come home. What kind of a mother are you? What? You don't even care about your daughter? What kind of a mother are you? I, I just wanted to spend this last yesterday. It's okay, Olivia. Let's go to you. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Because you are part of everything and I hate you! Come near me! Don't touch me! Don't touch! Don't touch me! Take her out! What the hell? I just bought this Gucci shirt three days ago! You should be happy that! I just gave you, which is yet a very nice fragrance in my For me, get out of my No! No! You tell me I'm in very good. What are you waiting for? Get mom and clean this thing up. Tell them to my clients. Yes, boss. Girls? Yes, boss. Take good care of my clients. Yes, boss. Is that clear? Right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hello, How are you doing today? Just why didn't I buy this dog I saw yesterday? It would have so served me now that I need to chase somebody out of this compound. Judge, you mean somebody is disturbing you so much that you need a dog to chase the person out of the compound? Uh, 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 mm -mm, ah. You should tell me, Keji, so I will personally deal with that person myself. Oh, yeah? Mm. Mm. You want to personally deal with that person? Right away. And Keji, that person disturbing me is you. Why can't I have a moment's rest in this neighborhood just because I happen to know somebody like you? Judge, <laughs> <laughs> judge. So it is me you want to get a dog to chase out of this compound. Judge. Now what for you? After everything you and I have gone through, you now want to chase me away with the dog. Will you shut up, my friend? What are those things we have been through together? 
What are those things we have been through together that the world have not seen before? Hey, 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 judge! Ah! Don't shout at me as if I am a dog or a child or training. What is wrong with you? You think I don't know what I'm doing? Ah! Who are you? You're here ranting your mouth. Just wait for some minutes. Running your mouth, see his head. Because I, I love you, I won't hear a word. Look at you. Come on, look at this thing. Can't you see? I have every evidence on this paper. Look at it very well. Don't look at me. Shine your eye on the paper. Look at it. Every evidence. See. Can you see it? You and I have had sex 13 good times. And I had everything to date, even to what's it? Will you shut up, my friend? What is wrong with you? Are you are you a psycho or, or, or what? Psycho. I know you don't even know what a psycho means. Nkechi, please. I'm done talking to you. Do me a favor and go. Leave this compound. Ah, George, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. It's you and I in this house. We'll die together. <laughs> All the time you and I had sex, you promised me heaven and earth. Uh, what has happened to that heaven and earth that you promised me that? Can you just. You, you're not even listening to yourself. You're not ashamed of yourself. All right, Nkechi, please. I beg of you in God's name. Just go. Eh? I will come to your house tomorrow so we can talk about this. is just not the time and the place to discuss this. Please go. I will come to your house tomorrow. I will talk about this. If my grandfather finds you here, he will not take it lightly with you. I beg of you. Please. Judge. I don't want you to have problems with your grandfather. But if I don't see you tomorrow, you have a big problem. Very big problem, I know. Coke. You don't even give me coke. Let's go out see it tomorrow. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Sisters of Delilah. Sisters of Delilah. And I'm talking, she's even drinking my coke. Madam, good morning. Do I make your breakfast? Get out of my sight! Get out of my sight! I don't want any breakfast. And hey, tell every other person that I don't want to see anyone. I don't want to be disturbed by anyone. Nobody should come near me. Do you hear me? I thought I made it clear to you, fool, that I don't want to eat any. Is that all I'll be getting from you all the time? This point, right? You are not ashamed of yourself that you are in bed at 10 o'clock and for you to come out to the dining table and be wrecking like a mad woman. Have you gone nuts? Mom, everything I told you means absolutely nothing to you. What I'm asking is for my mother. I want my mother. Is it too much to ask? How are you murdering you around? You mean I should back you or front you? Carry my mouth or my head? Now tell me, which girl in this town of your head? Have the kind of thing that you have now. The guy you have, the food you eat, the body you have, which one has it? At what price, mother? At what price are you making so much effort to prevent things for me? At what price do I need to suffer? Do I have to suffer because you're trained so hard to make my life beautiful? Enough! What's rubbish? What is wrong with you? Are you listening to me, young woman? I can see that you're a grown up woman, like your mother. So you can still go ahead and do. What your mother is in right now, by the way, I fight. I spent my youthful age battling, fighting poverty. I ate it at breakfast, at lunch, at dinner. Nobody, no damn person stood to help me. Not even your miserable father stood to help me. For he joined his ancestors, the chef where I did. So if you are tired, of eating the stockfish in this house and the beautiful food you eat in this house, then you go to hell. I'm gonna take you on the hook. Take you for that offer, and I will go to hell. When I come to you, as I go to hell, you will come up to me. You will look for me, Bob. You will look for me. You just make sure you carry a good bottle of water because hell is too hot.
Ma, we need for the meeting with the Minister of Power and, and you need... Will you shut up and go and move that car? I'm sorry, ma. She needs a man at home, huh? What did you say? Man, I mean Olivia. She needs a man in her life, and it's your duty to get her that man. Will you shut up? What is wrong with you? Who, who, who gave you the right to talk about my daughter and I in my presence? That is my family. You have no right to talk about it. Is that clear? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Just shut up and concentrate on your driving. Your, 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 your madness is beginning to get to me. You're getting on my nerves. How dare you talk about my family? The other day, if not because you put nose into an affair that did not concern you, but I and my daughter would have settled the case we had amicably. You went and put nose into it. Who sent you? Have you gone nuts? Ma, Olivia. Vomited on my clothes. All because I wanted to help her to her room. Is there anything wrong with that? Oh, come and shut up. If you didn't pop nose into that affair, how could she have gotten close to you? Now, now, let me make something clear to you, young lady. You are my worker, my secretary, and my personal assistant. Get that clear. I pay you salary. Olivia is my daughter, my family. It's like. At times you forget the fact that you are not part of my family. You are my staff. I can as well kick you out any day I want and get someone else. Get that straight. No way you're crossing my line. And never you do it again. Is that clear to you? Yes, ma'am. Nonsense.
Father. Yes, son. I have finished packing. So, um, I'll be leaving for this city first thing tomorrow morning. And, uh, I'm ready to do that thing you've been training me for. That thing you spent your entire life teaching me and training me for. I'm ready to do it, sir. That's fine, son. Sit down. Open that briefcase. I said open that briefcase. Said you are ready to go to the city to bring back what rightfully belongs to you and I. <laughs> this is just to show you that I am even more ready. Father, where did all this money come from? <laughs> it is all mine. I set it up so that when you'll be ready to go to the city, I will give it to you. There's no way I can send you to those wolves out there without anything on you. So, I should take all this money? <laughs> yes. They are all yours now. Father, but this is too much. I... Seen this amount of money all my life, my entire life. Son, that was true until about two minutes ago. Listen, son, you need this money to set yourself up in the city. There is no way you will survive in the city without money. Father, I appreciate this, I appreciate a whole lot. But this money is too much. How do you expect me? What am I going Enough. to do with When do you start arguing with me? Do you think I had fun? Why I slaved to save up all this money? Listen. Take this money. Go to the city. And destroy all our enemies. Come. Make sure that they are all dead. Before you come back. Father. I make sure they are all dead. You are speaking figuratively, right? <laughs> yes. Son, listen. I want them broken, but alive. I want them to stay alive and feel all the pains they made us pass through all these past years. I want you to bring back all they have stolen from us. Pay them back for all the crimes and sins they've committed against us. They must pay. I said, they must pay. They must pay. They must, they must pay. They stole from us, Father. And for that, they deserve to be punished. I will make sure that happens.
Just enjoy yourself. Take what you want. No, no, no. no, no. It is not possible. I don't want to do it. I want to talk about my mind. Fine, let's take okay. all of them. Take the one you want. Yes, you are not blind. You can go ahead and pick it. out. You can bring it. Because you are eating rice. You can still want to eat the food. What is wrong with you? You just said one more word. Come on, you
don't see my house again. Look at Look at her. Idiot. Not only Dutch. That's my husband. Mom sense. Let me show you my near my house. What was that? What was that? How did you live without this drink I bought for you? Go away from me. I don't want anything from you. Anything. What? Wait, wait. After all the embarrassment you caused me up there, you were screaming like you wanted to bring the whole building down. And you're telling me you don't want it. What do you take me for? A fool? Hey, young lady, you don't speak to me like that. I didn't ask you to bring my, my bottle of drink in the you first place, did I? You will take this drink. Do you hear me? <laughs> you must be gloating within yourself that you finally found a poor helpless guy to play upon. Isn't that right? What are you talking about? What I'm talking about? I'm talking about the condescending manner. You bitch, you offered me the drink back there. You were talking to me like I'm your slave. Listen, I'm a poor man, alright? I know I'm poor, but that is only because these people like you are thinking everything to yourselves. You know what? I think you're one hell of a sick man and I'm tired of listening to you. You can go to hell for all I care. Yeah. Walk. Walk away. That is what people like you do. Listen, mister. I really don't know why I'm talking to you, but I think you have a knot missing in your head. And I would advise you go somewhere and get it fixed. <laughs> Just as I thought. Oh, what were you expecting? Do you know what? You don't know a thing. You don't know a thing of how I feel. Listen, lady, I am hot. I am hot because I just lost my job. My boss just fired me for doing nothing. Just nothing. And that is because he's a rich man, just like you. You know what? All of you rich people, you think I have everything working for you. But let me tell you, I'm a poor man. But only for a limited time. I might be poor today. But I am superior. I am superior to all of you. <laughs> really? If you're superior to all of us, how come you have sent me squealing like a little child? What can you even do? Wait, I'm going to offer you a job to salvage this poor state of mind of yours. And chase me, me, getting you out of his company as if I'm a rat, eh? Hi! Just imagine. You even made me, made me cut my, my expensive slippers. Hi! Oh, I have so. Well, if George thinks he's going to escape from me after sleeping with me for 13 times, 13 good times, ah, he must be joking, oh. He must be joking. Because whether he likes it or not, he must marry me. Yes, he must marry Nkechi because I am his only wife, his only wife. Eh, because I've already started dreaming of how beautiful and handsome our children will look. Eh, so if he likes, let him run to Kotonu or Kodobwa. 
When he comes back, he will marry me. That's it. Ma, he's here. The man. Oh, bring him in. Okay. Oh, wow. Send me those presenters. I uh, don't make this visit look like a social one. I have come. Serious business. So let's get to this. I can't tolerate a man standing in my presence. Sit down, take your ass on that seat. When you stop flattering yourself with these little girls around you and show yourself a little respect. <laughs> you see, I wonder why I did this some note of jealousy under your voice anytime you see me hanging around with my you know, young beauties. Excuse me, this is jealousy. <laughs> you, know, you like flattering yourself so much. Anyway, every man is entitled to his own vanity. Okay. Someone to my baby. You see, sometimes I wonder, is it because we've stayed together and do things together for some time now? Uh, you no longer have urge for me. Don't you think it's right, you know, for you to take me to bed and tear my clothes apart as you Oh, point? please, you cut this crap. I'm in here for business. Let's get to business, please. <laughs> Someone. Okay, what do you have for me today? 
The chief paid into my account today and I've transferred to yours. That's cool. Did you give him the thing? Yes, I did. And um, he actually wanted to know if you had another copy of that tape. And I really want to ask right now, tell me the truth, you. Do you have a copy of this tape? That is not your business. It is mine. And I'll tell you this, keep your nose and the pot of help the smell so you don't get hot. This is not right. You're hiding under the shadows and I'm in the line of fires doing all your dirty work. And you don't get to tell me anything about what you are doing. The only thing I get to understand is the little one you tell me. I, I, I'm shut up. Shut, shut up. Shut up. I said this and I'm saying it again. Keep your nose in the pot of good smell so that you don't get hot. Yes. Or have you forgotten you're speaking to them? Ready because you have an appointment with the Minister of Tourism tonight. Tonight? Yes. I've planned having a little time with my daughter. I didn't plan going and having any anything any with anybody. And it's unfortunate. The appointment has been fixed, and there's no going back. My daughter will come and pick you up by 7 p.m. You. Good morning. What the hell are you looking for? Uh, you don't remember me. I'm looking for you. Hey, 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 hey. How did you even 
doesn't know my name. And I, how, how did you locate my house? You gave me this, remember? Me. I gave you my card. Yes. Young man, I really don't know what you're up to. But you act like someone who is trying to set me up. What do you want from me? Excuse me. What did you just say to me? I'm trying to set you up for what? Is that what you're going to say to a man you offered a job a few hours ago? Olivia, I offered you a job. Yes, you did. You offered me a job and that is why I'm here. Listen, Olivia, I'm sorry, all right? I'm so sorry if, if I'm bothering you. But the thing is, I've had a very bad day. I lost my job and uh, my, my landlord has mounted sentry at my door waiting for his rents. I beg of you. I need your help. I'm here because I have nothing else. I have no other option, no other choice. You need my help. Earlier today, you embarrassed me in public. And you're acting like you're the lord of the manor. What happened to you? How come you're acting like a poor and crazy beggar? Yes, Olivia, I'm a beggar. All right? Thanks for the insult. Mm -hmm. You can insult me all you want, but please, I need your help. I need a job. All you need is a job. <laughs> really? How will you feel if I give you a little taste of your own medicine? How will you feel? Olivia, I will take whatever you give me. All I need is your help. Please, I'm getting frustrated right now. Hmm, he looks quite a dish. And I haven't had a man in a long time now. Maybe I could just use him to wet my thirst for tonight. Oh, what's that your name again? Uh, my name is George. George what? George Eluko. George Oluko. Uh, it's, it's Eluko. Oluko, whatever. I think I have... Uh, Madam, is there a problem? Oh, no, that's no problem. Just uh, sit down. I'll do it with you. Good evening, man. Good evening. Who are you? Uh, my name is George. George Oliko. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm ready. 
Oh, no. You're home early. Well, I came to change because I have a meeting with the Minister of... Oh, oh. all right. Uh, thank you, Mom. Enough of your meetings with the Minister of Government, whatever. It's, it's a good thing because I'm actually on my way to the nightclub. You're going to what? Nightclub? Uh, who is... Do I say man or ten? And what is he doing under my roof? I'm really sorry, Mom. George, mm -hmm. that's my mother. Mm -hmm. Mom, that's George Oluku and his. George Oluku. Uh, Whatever. You. George Oluku. Is my bodyguard, my driver, and my charge hand. I actually employed him today and he started work immediately. Oh, wait, wait, just wait. When did you start moving with bodyguard? Uh, will I say bodyguard or things like this? When did you start this bodyguard nonsense in this house? Are you stuck? Are you stuck? All right, all right, all right, mom. Stop acting shocked. I don't know you listening to me, young woman. Stop this madness. Don't make me mad because if you won't oh, like right, your mom. Who? Enough of your chair tricks. Because don't you think it's a good thing I'm going out so that you can have time to go for your meetings with the ministers and the governors? No, I think we've had enough for the evening because I really cannot remember the last time we had such a long conversation as mother and daughter. So please, let's not change things so suddenly. No, just... Hmm? What are you waiting for?
Hai, mari guys. I need some more fuel. I've had enough fun with you. It's time to go. Oh. Hello. Time to take me home. At first. <laughs> Let me take you home. Come on, what's up with you? I need some more. Uh, you know. I've had enough fun with you already. Mom, you're still home. Why are you so surprised that I'm at home in my own house? You know, I'll be very surprised to see you at home. At this time of the day, even the chairs and every other thing will be surprised as well. Good morning, ma'am. I'm really tired, Mom. I had so much fun last night. I'll just go upstairs and rest a bit. And... Alright. If you want something to eat, you would uh, get you something to eat and we'll show you where to sleep. When I'm awake, we'll talk about your entire life. Okay? Alright. Is that what you're trying to make me understand? 
Well, madam, I met your daughter for the first time in an age yesterday, where she spilled my drink. We exchanged words. We argued. We almost fought. Before she promised to make up for it by offering me a job. You lied. You are a big liar. You have failed. I am sure my enemies brought you into my house to spy on me. But you have failed. Tell them that you failed big time because you will never achieve that. Are you listening? And listen very well. I want you out of this house because I don't see any how that I will see someone like you live under my roof. You get out of this house and get out of my daughter's life. Is that clear? Is that what you really want? Not what I want. That is what will happen right now. Well, if that is what will happen now, I have to get paid for my work last night. Did you say work? You didn't know your daughter kept me outside a nightclub all through the night. So if I must leave your house, as you just said, you have to pay me for that. And then I shall leave as soon as you get paid. You must be stupid to say that. Paid on what? That you went to the nightclub with my daughter, you actually look like a tout. I expect after all that nonsense you come to my house and get paid. You must be very sick. Why is she seeing a different thing? 
my, I think you need to take it easy on her. Olivia is a grown woman now. And I think she should be caught some slack. That's poor brat. What makes me so angry right now about that girl is bringing a total stranger in my house. This scares me. How am I sure it's not my enemies that, that, that are sent him to my house? Ma, I don't think Olivia having a driver come bodyguard as she calls him to come work for him is such a bad idea. If he says so, what? I'm scared. I'm so scared. But my, the more you try to be too protective over her, the more she's going to try to fight you. You think so? Yeah. Ma, I think Olivia is trying to test you. If you ignore her, she's going to get tired of that young man and kick him out herself. I'll take it easy on her, but there's something that we need to find out. What is that, ma? About that young man. You know the type of work we do. You know we have so many enemies everywhere. How are we sure that boy wasn't sent in that house by our enemy? I want to find out about his parents, where he came from, what brought him in my daughter's life, what pushed him to my house, what he's looking for. I want to find out all these things. Wow. Are you sure that is necessary? You think it's not necessary? Very necessary. In the kind of job we do, it's very necessary I find out who that boy is. Why are you standing outside here like this? How are you? Oh, I'm not fine. I'm not fine at all. There is trouble. There is serious trouble in the air. Huh. Trouble? What do you mean? I don't understand. It's George. My George is missing. I have not seen my husband to be. Did you say missing? Hey, George. Missing. How do you mean? Biko? Oh, for some days now, I have not seen George. I even went to his grandfather's house to look for him. And I couldn't find him there. Tell me, am I not in trouble? Oh, maybe you travel. Didn't you tell that he's going anywhere or travel, something, anything? Mm -mm. You didn't tell me anything. You didn't tell me. But uh, I am suspecting that his grandfather. Mm -hmm. I am suspecting that man of having harmed my judge. Ah, Nketi. How about Nketi? Just be careful, though. All these things you are saying. One day it will land you into trouble, though. Just be careful. That's all I have to say. Just be careful. I beg. I know what I am saying. I know what I am saying. George would not travel without telling me. <sighs> Haven't you noticed how secretive that man is? He doesn't talk to anybody. He doesn't even have friends. Even George once told me that the man does not like seeing two of us together. <sighs> Just be careful. That's all I have to say. Eh? All these things you are saying. Maybe George travel and will come back very, very soon. And you are saying all these things. Eh? And Just stop it. Stop it. I don't like it. You didn't travel. If you had traveled, you would tell me. So, Nketi, what are you going to do about this matter now? Eh? What are you going to do? Anyway, me now, I am going to confront that man till he tells me where my judge is. Yes, and there's nothing anybody can do or say to stop me. Nothing! A lie! Ah! Hey! Nketi, take it easy, oh! Nbiko, wait, take it easy! That's what I have to say in this matter. Take it easy, eh? <laughs> Look at my advisor. Do you know the name of that pan wine tapa? Look at him. His name is easy. Go and talk to him. Don't talk to me. Me, Nketi, I'll bring down this woman. My hand is so jail. Nketi, take it easy. Only, I have taken it easy. Hey. Go and talk to that pan wine tapa. His name is easy. Stop showing me your back. I don't know what else to say. Stop showing me your back. Go and meet that pan wine tapa. That's all I have to say. Thank you. I've said my own. This whole thing is something and let's just wait and see how it fits.
a nice guy. Feels the tip of their ass. Me too. I wasn't being up this. Sir, I don't understand. It seems you like disrespecting people. You treat people as if they are rags. Is that what gives you the cakes? What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about you disrespecting me. I'm talking about the way you treat people. Do you know what? I'm sorry I can't do this anymore. I'm out. I'm out of this place. 50,000 naira. What did you just say? You heard me. I'll pay you 50,000 naira a month. And I'll pay you 20,000 naira monthly so you can buy clothes and shoes. And also 10,000 naira so you can suck one or two thousand eggs of yours. That would be a total of 80,000 naira monthly. What will that be? Do we have a deal? And you would have to listen to the boys because of this. I just fired the girls who were behind the space. So that we gain. I have two questions for you before I say anything concerning the author. Oh, really? Sure. Thank you. Firstly, how are you going to be able to pay me such a amount of money when it doesn't even look like you have a job? <laughs> Hi, Penny. That is not something to worry about. I have a mother who is a multi-millionaire, and she gives me a lot of money regularly to take care of myself and all the tiny needs. So it should not be a problem. <laughs> well, I guess I should hold it to that. But my second question is, what am I expected to do? What am I supposed to be doing for you to be aiming such a lot of money? <laughs> Very simple. I'll just need you to be as my back and cool, night and day, and make yourself available whenever I need you. If you're okay, I'll give you 20,000 hours to go to wherever you came from. Your house and bring your bags so you can resume what you give you. But before you go, that's when you finally agree to what I say. We need to tidy up the place, go to the kitchen, clean the kitchen up, and then prepare something for me to eat because I'm hungry, I'm so stunning. But do you know how to cook? Because Sit down, sir. And wait. Sit down first. When did he even come into town? Son, this is three weeks. I mean, 21 days since you left home. I've been expecting to hear from you how far you have gone with your mission. But I had nothing. I now decided to come myself to come and see how things are with you. Father. Things are going on well. I have managed to entrench myself into the home of our enemy through her daughter. So, things are going on well. When should I expect to hear that you have destroyed that woman with every of her imprints? Father, you'll get that news soon. Very soon. 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 Come, Judge. It is like you have forgotten the important.
hands of this your mission. Father, all I need is just to... Shut, shut up, my friend. You'll be here for a whole three weeks. A whole three weeks. I'd expect her to hear something tangible from you by now. Father, destroying our enemy is not that difficult. I promise you I can deliver. The only problem is, this woman is already suspecting me. She suspects maybe an enemy of hers sent me to her home. So I need time to correct that suspicion. Father, I need to gain her trust and confidence so I can penetrate her and destroy her for you, for us. Judge, Father, you know I'm a very impatient old man. The only thing that is still keeping me alive is for me to see you bring Samantha to her knees. Destroy her. Make sure you destroy her or else. I get another person for this judge. Father, you can't do that. I've just embarked on this mission. I have all my materials in place to execute this mission. Father, please, all I'm asking is a little time. Just give me a little time and I will destroy this woman. Please. strategically as if uh, he knew I was up to something. So everything I tried, he didn't just, he was very strategic with everything he was saying. As if he knew that I came for something. Samantha, I am so disappointed. Look at you. Are you new in this game? Are you this myopic in this game? Can't you with your dangers and get results? Honestly, I think you're missing the point here. Oh. Mrs. Lecturer, well, can you lecture me on what I'm missing in this matter? I've been the one handling all these men all these years. This is this has been my job. I know how to handle them, how to seduce them, how to get them to, to, to see what I want to see. Everything I tried, they didn't be refused. So what do you suggest we do now? 
If you need my honest answer, I will say we back out. Yes. I think these people uh, have come to understand our strategies. And maybe if they see me, uh, they look at me and say, I've come to get something from them. Uh, and when they start behaving like that, I also begin to feel uncomfortable. And I think the best thing we should do now is back out from this very deal and we strategize on new ways, on getting to new things, new methods around. Ah. Samantha, I can see why you felt last night. I don't understand what you mean. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Are you not ashamed of yourself? You are suggesting we back off our operation. I can't believe this, but I wonder why you are playing with death. Why? I don't understand. Why did I do Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! One more word from you again. I will strangle you to death here and now. You are naughty, but I'm an idiot. Next time in your life, you open your mouth and suggest me backing out from my operation. Oh. You will regret ever being born. Idiot! You are very sorry. Just say your apologies. All I wanted to do is to do exactly what I asked you to do. I can make it up. No apologies. You're having a meeting with your friend Thomas. The managing director of Nova Holdings tonight. He's a multimillionaire. And I want to have access to his millions. And you are going to make that possible tonight. So, what do you want me to do? I don't need to lecture you. You are going to have sex with him. I've planted my post there that will record everything. That is what we will use to blackmail him. Samantha. Samantha. Samantha, it would be very nice and wise for you to know how much it cost me. It cost me so much to get this set up. So I don't want you to think of failure. If you ever think of failure, then think of what is going to happen to you and your daughter. Yes, I think we have a very good and wonderful understanding, man. Where's my judge? Where's my judge? Young girl. <laughs> leave my way now. Old man, you're lying. I'm not going anywhere. Ah! I said leave my way now before I kill you or that madness running around their brain. Ah! You can't do anything to Ngechi. Do you understand me? You can't do anything to me. Ha! <laughs> you're daring a lion. You can't do anything to me. For some days now, I don't see my judge. So, after destroying my husband, you want to destroy his wife to Abby? Eh? That's what cannot happen. Give me my husband. Okay. You want to see George? Eh? I want to see my George. Okay. Go, George. Let me go and show you where George is. Me. Mm. Right, let's go. Hey, now you come. Very good. Eh? Idiot. I would have dismantled this your stomach. Reduce. Maybe you want to see George. Go inside. Let me show you. Show you. Show you.
George, what took you so you? Did you go to London to bring your things? No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I got stuck in the traffic. Look, let this be the last excuse I am getting from you. I'm paying you a huge amount of money and I expect the best from you. Do you understand? Yes, ma. I'm sorry. I'll give you the best of my service, ma. Fine. Look, I'm very hungry and I want something to eat. I want um, something really light but sweet. Aha, I'll get you that, ma. Ma, please, can I um, go inside and drop my things before I start cooking? Sure, hurry up, because yes. I'm famished. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Hurry up!
someone to assist you. Because this is too nice. Don't worry, tell me the truth. I will not be mad with you. I, I prepared the food in one man. Wow. Okay. It's nice. I don't have something nice in my long wow. In this kind of food, I would say what those things that we're preparing is cement. Not nice at all. <laughs> Madam, I don't know anything about that, man. I take it that you like the food, man. Like? <laughs> I just told you that I haven't had such a nice meal in a long time. I love it. Oh. Who did you taught you how to cook? Oh, um, it was my grandmother. I was living with her from the age of two. Oh. Yeah, before she died when I was 16. Yeah, that was when I moved to Lagos to, to hustle, man. Do you know I don't know anything about you? Why did I even employ you in going to the house? I don't know, ma'am. I think I know why. I meant to tell you when I was there. Feeling good to my mother and... The feelings against her. And I brought you to the house to make me mad. I succeeded in doing that. 
No, no, no. I'm gonna not be eating. You just um, clean up the kitchen and you get everything for tomorrow, okay? Once you're done, you can go to your room.
And almost broke my neck just because I asked him about the man I love. Ah, he will not go scot free at all. Maybe I should tell Papa and Mama so that they will accost him. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. Papa will just kill me as if I'm a rat if he finds out I'm no longer a virgin. I will land to that man myself. But as for you, George, as for you, George, you, George, okay. Oh, okay. Because of you, I'm eating the bed I don't deserve. Ah! 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 Ah!
Good morning, handsome. How are you? I'm very fine, man. Um, the front door is open, we can go inside. <laughs> of course, I know the front door is open. I mean, it's always open to me anytime I come around. But I don't want to go in yet. I need to have a word with you. You want to have a word with me? Yeah. Uh, what, what about mother? You know, you're a very interesting character, George. Isn't that your name? Thank you for the compliments, but yes, my name is George. George Ebuko. I have a feeling we've met before. Have we? <laughs> no, ma, I don't think so. I don't think I've met you before now. I see. So, would you mind telling me what a hot and handsome guy like you is doing here as a house help? No. I'm only doing what I can to end it with my handsome mess with him with money in my pocket. Quite true. Um, another reason why I say you look very intelligent. But I strongly feel there is more to you than meets the eye. I don't think I follow my liar. You and I know what I'm talking about. You have the eyes of a man on a mission. And I can feel some heat coming off you. What did you come here for? Well, madam, like I said, I'm going to do what I can to end Olivia. And Miss Olivia is paying me three times more than what I've ever paid in my entire life as a monthly salary. For that kind of salary, man, I would also be your house if you wish to hire me. Hmm. Okay, handsome. You and I are going to meet again. But I'm sure this time around, you and I are going to meet an island of fun. I am not in the mood for that. Especially when it's linked with a content that is clearly etched on my voice. What? Ah, Olivia, did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed today? I will not have you talk to me in such condescending tone. Right. Let's cut the bullshit. What's eating you up? I saw you. I saw you ordering George. Look, I need you to know that. George is mine and he's off your radar. Get that out clear. <laughs> Do I sense jealousy? Call it whatever you want to call it. I am the one who brought George to this house and I have the right to do whatever I want to do with him. So stay off him. Take your eyes off George. You see, I don't want anything to do with you, George. Okay? For God's sake, George is... Just a common house help. I mean, no house help. If you know me well enough, I'm a big girl. Look at me. I have a high test. Hmm? This is fun for you, right? <laughs> you can see it however you choose to see it, okay? I'm here to pick up your mom and not to have this chat with you. I see. I need to know that. You are one of those people who has taken my mother even from me. She has decided to love me more than she loves me, her own daughter, and you're going to get away to the background. <laughs> That's a tough one, I mean. <sighs> I think you're backing up the wrong thing. Hmm? If you have a problem with your mother, I'm the wrong person for you to cry to, okay? 
You really think you are... Hey! Just hold it. I think I've had enough of this um, cheat chat with you today. <laughs> you know, I'm a very busy person. Unlike um, some of us who just sit at home doing nothing. Go get yourself some drinks, okay? <laughs> Grandfather, I just saw him now, and he was looking at me like a demon. Ah. Yeah. I don't understand what you are trying to say. I don't understand what you mean. Eh? What is it? Oh, honey, my friend, you don't understand. You don't understand at all. I'm still feeling serious pain on my neck. Pain, what? Neck? George, grandfather. Yay! <sighs> Let me get him to my house. He might be coming this way. Wait, 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 no! Ah. Houseboy at work. I can see you're very hard working, George. Nice. I like it. Um, madam, as you can see, I'm very busy. Is there anything I can do for you? Yes. Um, here's um, my complimentary card. Give me a call whenever you're free. Anytime you want to see me. And I'll make her some time so that we can have fun together. Thank you, ma'am. Good. Now run along and be the good house boy. Get my boss a cup of coffee. She won't sit in a second, okay? I will, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Take care of yourself. The starts of the line. George. Uh, did that bitch tell you anything? Um, 
I don't understand what you're talking about now. <laughs> Never mind. Um, I want you to prepare something for us to eat. But before then, my mom needs a cup of coffee, so get you ready and take to her room. All right, ma'am. Hey, uh, Shut. Sure. I'll be going out soon, and I need you to drive me. It's all right. All right. Head back to what you're doing. What's going on? Oh, what's the problem? What's wrong with you? Since you came back from work this morning, you've been locked up in your room. What's going on? I'm tired. I just need some rest. What is so difficult for you to understand in this situation? That I'm in my room and I lock my door? I see. I see you don't want to discuss your problem with me. But it's very obvious you told you from already. I am supposed to be your daughter. Misha, why are you talking like this? Okay, no. Enough of your innocent acts. Because it's just obvious you, you love me for my mother, you love me. Jesus Christ, Olivia. What has gone wrong with you? Why are you talking like this? Call me! Jesus. Olivia, you allowed this thing come into my bedroom? Have you got nuts? Mom, you said you wanted a cup of coffee. I am the one who asked me to bring it to your room. How else is it supposed to get it across to you when you decided to stay locked up in your room? This is absolute nonsense. I wanted a cup of coffee and I had this thing carry coffee into my bed. Oh my God, no, no, no. Please, I've had enough of you harassing George over nothing. What are you even scared of? You want to know what I'm scared of, right? I'll prove it to you. Just a simple test. My young man, bring the tea forward. Did you or did you not put poison into this thing we called tea that we brought from me? Jesus Christ, this is ridiculous. Are you going to answer me? Um, madam, I don't think I have any reason to poison you. I've never done anything like that all my life. Really? Yes, ma'am. So add water into that thing you called tea. Turn it and drink it yourself. Um, There. Are you 
you satisfied now? Are you happy now? Did he drink that tea like someone who has any intention to poison anybody? Did he? You know what, man? George does not have a problem. You have a problem! And all this mess is going to end the moment you tell me the truth about what you really do for a living. Because whatever it is, I bet you is about to drive you crazy so you can kill yourself. Look at that! Hello, darling! <laughs> oh, God, shit! Come tell me about why you're here. I pray for you, lad. Someone that does you. No one that does you. If I knew someone that would come here and see me, I'd please be here. Or even she had an idea that I would be here. Samantha! You darling Samantha is put into her bed. She claims she's not feeling too well. So she says take a day off. So it has gone into Canada, Samantha, that does the sign not to go to war without letting me go. It seems that woman is no longer afraid of what I can do if I get angry. That is not all. There is something else you need to know. What is it? Olivia has employed the service of a guy who called himself George to be the house. So how is that information important? I can't just understand it. What do I have to do with that? It's not important. I don't know. But I think there is something out of place about the guy. I've not been able to place my finger on it. I have a feeling he's not just there to be an answer. Well, I just can't understand you. Why don't you go straight to the point and tell me what you want to say? Uh, what have I got to do with house help? I don't know what to say now. Except to ask for your permission to dig into the guy and find out everything about the guy. I think he might be a danger to operation. From my own view, I believe he don't have work to do. For me, I don't have any time to go into that venture. I mean, digging to know about the house and what I can do anything like that. What is bothering me nice, Samantha? That woman is getting me angry. Okay. So what do you want me to do about Samantha? Give her up. Run to her whatever she does. To me, that's all I want you to do now. And I think the time to replace her has come. I'll get a replacement for some time. Okay. I'll do just that. Hmm? Enough of this business. It's time for us to change the channel to something more romantic. Come <laughs> on, relax. Hey, pray for all the crimes you've committed against innocent people. Who are you? Pray! Who are you? Just tell me who you are. What do you know? Jesus. Thank God it was just a dream. Oh God. Was that a warning? Are these people out there who, who are about to come and kill me? I'm not the one in charge. Please. Everything I did against you was under duress. I had to do what I could to prevent them from killing my only child. It was either I did what I did to you or my child dies. I cannot lose my child. I cannot lose her. And you know that too well. Don't you? Don't you is responsible for everything. 
And two is responsible for everything. What are you doing? Nothing, ma'am. All right. I'm set to go out to shop. Get ready and join me. All right, ma'am. Hurry up. myself now. Come ah. on. Olivia, that is where you got it wrong. Hey, stop doing that bit. Let me check yourself here. You are in charge. So you can have him to dance to whatever tune you want to play. I don't understand. What are you talking right. about? Now, that is the right question you should ask me. Listen, you're his employer. You're paying his wages. Mm -hmm. Automatically, he's under your control. So, Whatever way you want to deal with him, you deal with him without having your heart mixed up with it. Yes, you can always be your mechanic to service your agent whatever you need anywhere. With me. We don't stretch it out. In that way, you don't get your heart smashed. Let's still get to have some this one. Whatever, girls. George is mine and mine alone. So, I know what and what not to do with him. All right, I'll leave the girls to do your shopping. All right, I have to go. I need to go home. Seriously, you have to go. 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 Seriously, you
Um, please, where is the show I asked for last time? Oh, Hello? I can't. Why am I running away from that man? What if he has killed my judge and has left me without his love? Ha! I must accost him and settle this matter once and for all. Though. He must tell me where judge is or I will shout his name everywhere in this area. Yes. Samantha. Samantha, so you want out of our organization. It's not like that, don't you? I just need vacation, I need a break. And besides, I'm too old for this oppression. Really? Do you know the man that is standing before you? I am in charge. And I am the only one that can determine who is old for the job. And how old you have been in the job. Yes. I know, Mantio. But self the plenty. Now listen to me. There is no way. There is no way I can ever let you out of this organization because you know too much to be left on your own. Thank you. What? What is this? What do you want me to explain to you? What it means is this. Since you don't want to be part of this organization, that means you don't want to be part of what we are doing. Then we consider it reasonable to send you to another planet. Please, 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 I beg you, okay? This is not like that. Please, don't do this. Please, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I wasn't thinking right. I'm just, I'm just so sorry. Please, please forgive me. Please. I will, I will. Okay, I will do whatever you want me to do. I'm, okay. Samantha, will I say that church in mind or whatever has taken over me? Now I tell you this. I will give you this one more chance. Just this chance. What if I ever in any way feel it or find out that there's any way you want to leave this organization, Samantha, I will personally cut off your neck and cut off your daughter and feel it to the dogs. Look at you. Look at your house. Look at your life back account. Look at everything about you. The woman I beat. The impossible I beat on the world. And I turned your life to place. People respect you. You are a good woman in the society now. Just because. And today. Today you want me to regret all that I have done for you. Huh? I'm sorry, stupid woman. Please. Please don't take this and make you. Give me another chance to prove to you that I can serve you better. I can serve you more than I have. I've never served you before. Please, I'm sorry. Give me another chance. Let me prove myself to you once again. Yes. Do you remember Jeffrey? Yes. I want you to go to him. With those pictures, I mean the pictures where of you were having sex. Go with those pictures and tell them we need to me and your mother from you. They will share with you. You can see, uh, uh, my duty in this company since I started operating with you has been to carry money and bring to the office. I've, I've not been negotiating with our clients. Don't get it wrong. There's always a change. Now, I want you to do it. 
Former looking at him lustfully and my girlfriend behaving like her lots before him to make my eyes open to the fact that I have been keeping a hot guy under my roof and I failed to take him down. <laughs> Anyways, this is one man I can have without any strings attached. I can do whatever I want with him. Without the fear of having my heart broken, I have to enjoy this guy. He is mine.
seen the pictures of my nakedness you sent to me. And what is that supposed to mean? Chief, I am from a very big reputable organization. Those your naked picture that you saw will be distributed everywhere within 24 hours. Except you pay us the sum of 10 million naira. Yes, uh, yes. I, are you trying to blackmail me? Is that what this is all about? That is what it's all about. So to save your name, we us at once. Chief. If you look into that envelope, you see the bank name and the account where to pay that money to. So let's do that. Everything, I mean everything, will begin to happen around you. Why did you do it? What have I done? Why did you make love to me? 
Hey! What? What are you? You asked me to make No, 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 no. I asked you to have sex with me, not making love. Sex. S E X. Not making love. Why did you do it? Madam, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. The only thing I know is that I I lost control. And I just found myself enjoying the moment. Now that's the last you're going to enjoy. Have you ever wondered why you don't see me hang around guys or see men coming to look for me? <clears throat> that is because a man like you shattered and broke my heart into pieces. And that pieces is what I am guarding jealously. And that is why I asked you to have sex with me and not make love to me, but then you just, you, you went ahead and, and you made love to me and you have reason I mentioned, I already just threw in the, in the trash can. Adam, please, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me, it was all a mistake. I shouldn't have, we shouldn't have done it in the first place. It also awakened some feelings in me. Please, forgive me. If you want me to go, let me go inside and... No, no, like... no. No, you, you, really don't have, you really don't have to go. Let's just um, pretend like nothing happened and forget it and move on. It, it, it never happened, ma. Cool. We're fine, right? Yes, ma. We're fine. Nothing happened. Right? No, not at all. Fine. Yes, ma. Oh, I... Hey. Well, we're fine, right? Mm -hmm. We're fine, ma. Nothing. Nothing happened. You want me to do anything for you, ma? Okay, ma. Um, I will... Ah, I'm fine. you to go judge don't you ever say that i don't want you to oh, god oh. Oh. i don't want you to go sisters of delilah sisters of delilah
Nkechi, what is it? Eh? I'm busy cooking for my parents. They will soon be back from the farm. What is it? Eh, Oni. Ah, you have to leave that cooking for now and go with me to my house. There's something very important I need you to do for me. Oh? Hmm. Leave my cooking. What is important? What do you want me to do for you? Eh, see, eh? My parents are not home at the moment. So, I want to go to our house and pack my things and go to George grandfather's house so that he will know that I'm very serious in looking for George. Nkechi, you want to go to George grandfather's house and stay so that he will know that you are serious in looking for George? <laughs> what is that? I don't understand. Are you sure you have not stayed smoking something as in it's entering your brain? Are you sure? Hmm. I don't understand. What is that supposed to mean? Hey! Nkechi! Let me warn you, this will be the very first and last. You come to my house with this judge issue. Judge this, judge that. I'm tired of it, oh, because excuse me, get on your Excuse me, people. Oh, 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 it's, it's me, get you out. Oh. Hey! Oh, oh, you just insulted me. Yes. I just realized I had some dirty clothes and I wanted to wash them today, please. You want me to wash your clothes? Do you have a camera with that? 
Madam, you've never asked me to wash your clothes well, before. And you never... Well, it's the first time to everything. George, do you have a problem with washing my dirty clothes? I don't, I, I don't have a problem, madam. Very well then. Get started. George, I want to be wrong with the same. You can call her and I'm in here. Let's you call her, madam. Sure. Um, madam, age doesn't come into my work. She's my boss. So she has to be addressed and treated as well. Oh, really? George, you look very familiar. Are you sure we haven't met somewhere else? Get the woman. 
come for me. I'm sure they, they, they work together. You have just tonight and tomorrow to get them for me. Is that okay? Go. And do a lot of things for him. And I 
have said that if I tell you all the deep things I have done for him, uh, your safety will not be guaranteed, my dear. My safety? How do you mean? Dante knows very well that you are working for me. If he gets to know that I've told you anything, hi, he will make sure that he eliminates you, your family, and everybody around you. It's better I don't tell you about it. It's better I keep it the way it is. But you're scaring me. No, 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 no. You shouldn't be scared. I've taken care of your safety. Your safety is well taken care of. You don't even as long as you don't even want anything. So don't even be scared of anything. Okay? It's alright. Um, but see if I'm there's something I really need to show you. Hmm? Faces of innocent people that are blackmailed. These people are all innocent. Blackmail them all. Blackmail? You mean all those people that come to the office with money, they come to pay for this? Yes. We blackmail innocent people. They will be so scared. What first can they do? We will tax them to bring a certain amount of money. That money you see me carry. Jesus! Why, why did you scream? Did you give anyone? No! But this man in the picture it looks like the butcher that supplies me for me every weekend. My former? That'd be so funny! Can you look at the pictures I gave you and say it looks like a butcher? That man was saying that he used to be a multi millionaire. Very rich man! Hmm. Well, he died so many years ago, man. Hey, no. Mama, what do you want me to do with these pictures? Hey. If I'm a place, hmm? I want you to keep these pictures for me. Please. I am. I, I want to begin to plan how to take my daughter out of this country. Okay? I'll take her out of this country and come back. By the time I come back, I'll come for this picture because this is the only evidence I will use to nail Dante for all his atrocities. If I'm a, can you do that for me? Yes. Oh, thank you. No, I, I have no choice than to help you with this that you're giving me. Now, what do you want to do? From my room, but the rooms have ears. For me, I need to keep it inside. Eh? But it's only come to me. Maybe I'm not aware of it. Okay? You want me to come pick you up tomorrow morning? Yes. Um, but we have, we have to be very careful because my instinct is telling me that Dante is becoming suspicious of all the things happening around this house. Um, who knows? He might, be, he might be keep some men outside spying on even in this room. Even if he doesn't have anything in this room that tells him what, what we say in this room, even that is even telling him what we are saying now. You have to be very careful. When you come in the morning, um, you will not carry luggages. Let you not know, be as if you are traveling. Eh? We will dress as if we are going to the office. We will dress in the same way. No, 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 no. Okay? I think that's a great idea. That's how we do it. Um, well, for my words, I have this to give you for. Have this, my dear. Well, this is beautiful. I'm so grateful. It's okay, you deserve more. Thank you. But let me be on my way. I need to catch something early so that I can come with you tomorrow. Oh, that's good. Um, but let me have the pictures. When okay. you come in the morning, you can have it. Careful, man. Eh? 
Of the line now, sisters of the line now. Why the hell did she hit her like that? This year, year what you give me. This watch cannot stand even the cheapest watch in a jewelry box. That's true. Come on, She's going for Olivia. No! No! Luna, what is wrong with this young man? He has refused to call me again. Huh? What type of nonsense is this? Life is a pitiable mess. My mother treats me as if I'm a complete idiot. Someone not to be counted upon. <sighs> I need someone to talk to. I don't think I can spend this night alone with the emotional crack in my heart. I think I should go and speak with George. He's the only one I can talk to now. <sighs> Jeez, what is the matter with me? I have only slept with George once and I'm already thinking about going to him to have some heart-to-heart -heart talk. Olivia, how stupid can you get? What a weak heart did you give me, oh God? Why do I get to fall for men so easily that I lose control over my senses so quickly? <sighs> this is why I have decided to stay away from all men. Now I have gotten my emotions entangled again over a man who works for me as a servant. But I still need someone to talk to. Guess there wouldn't be anything wrong talking to him in the kitchen.
to me that a big boy is here. But it's quite unfortunate that you're sitting here alone and you could have a juice like me. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, that's true, girl. Uh -huh. But I tell you something that you are a very sweet girl with a very loud mouth and a very loud way of, you know, announcing her presence. Uh, I can't understand these words. Why do you have no sin? You will want to be Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. And my friends call me this. You know why? Well, when I touch a man, I can't really breathe. Oh, no, no. Move here! Please, 
in our society. Cut the shit out! It's better than You know you can never get me down. I know my business well. And I cover my tracks well enough. Well, Chief, I mean you are able to cover your tracks well enough. Well, remember I, what I said to you some time ago? That you will be careful covering your own tracks. And you will forget to cover your nakedness. Mischief. You are going down. What, what, what the hell are you talking about? What I am talking about is that you are under arrest, Chief. We have your right hand woman in our custody. And she has told us a whole lot about your clandestine business. Plus name and contacts. Don't blame the poor girl. She did what she did to stay alive. <laughs> Especially when we have promised her immunity. If she testified against you, Chief Fred. So, what I am saying is that you are under arrest. Officer, arrest this man. What? My staff? Move him! You are under arrest. I said you should move him! We have done enough! Oh, it's alright. I call my lawyer. I call my lawyer! My lawyer is the best lawyer in the world. Okay. 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 Samantha. Where is Samantha? Yes, 
and took away all that belongs to me. But I am back to collect them back. Oh, no. no, Father. Father, you mean you were part of this? You were the head of this organization. Father, you, you, you were one of these blackmailers. Shut up, God. Any more sound from you, I... You will do what? What will you do? You will kill me. You will kill me. Go ahead and kill me. But before you kill me, please be mad enough. Be mad enough to tell me what the hell is going on here. Tell me what is going on. You told me. This blackmail has killed my father. Isn't that what you told me? Is this lie of the true? As a lie, only people of hell. This man you are so much other than that. He, the only son this man has in his life is money. Money! That's all you know. Black more people are living. That's all you know. Now listen, let me tell you. If he is told you that to find over is your father. It means that he was one of our victims. That he cares. That's what it means. Oh no. No. No, Father, tell me that is not true. Father, tell me that is not Shut true. You. I said you don't have any of you call him father. Are you stupid? Get this into your school. This man. It's not your father. It's not your father. Now listen to me. <laughs> you killed your parents! Father and your father! Why? <laughs> because he was black. <laughs> he was black man, your father because your father was having an affair with a prostitute. And at the time, your father said no. Your father went to the police and reported it. And he killed your father. And there you were, just 14 months. He took you. That was how he took you. He is not your father. <laughs> He's telling the truth, isn't he? And I'm not. How could you leave me with lies all my life? You devil! I didn't do up there. Go listen to all these young ones. Why did you leave me to die after you killed my parents? Why? <laughs> you killed my father! <laughs> I'm grateful to God too. Although it was a really tough time for me, but I'm fine. I'm happy. I was able to conquer all. Thank you very much. All right, I'll um, see you on my way. I'm sure I'll see you some other time. Okay, uh, but can I get a minute of your time, please, Olivia? Um, I was meaning to ask you, you know, what are your plans from now after everything that happened? I don't understand. Yeah, um, I mean, what becomes of us, you know, you and me, after everything we went through together? You and me? There was never a house. There was nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. You mean to tell me you... 
You don't have any feelings for me? No. <laughs> I've never had any feelings for you. You never felt anything for me? All of that was... was not me, actually. I'm sure it was just the adrenaline rush. Ah, uh, only well, yeah. I mean, it just couldn't have all been coincidence. I mean, I felt this connection with you and most times when I looked into your eyes, I felt the feeling was mutual. So, what happened to all that? Oh, I, thought... oh, I, I really don't want to talk about this. Can we not continue with this conversation? Because I, I don't want to. You don't want to what? I, 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 I don't want to. Are you sure? Are you sure you never hurt me and caused me pain? I promise. I will never hurt or cause you pain. All my heart wants to do is to love you, to adore you and care for you. You've gradually become a source of joy and happiness to me. So how would I dare hurt you? Hurting you would mean hurting my own self. I don't think I'll be able to be that stupid. I love you. I was just so scared. I love you even more. And I promise you I'm going to love you for a very long time. Come here.